Shalom! I just had a great interview and I'm like so happy. It's a super chill place. It's commercial cleaning, which is something I love. And the drive is like, it's really not that bad. So here's the thing, right? The first time I came out here for an interview, I went to Essex, um, but this is all the same area. So the first time in Essex, I was like driving back from Essex to Hyde Park. You can't take the interstate, you have to take routes. And so it's a long, windy drive, and I was like, ah, this is gonna suck in the winter. I don't think I wanna do this. The second time I came out here was to get windows, because Essex, Jericho, Burlington, they're all in the same area. You gotta take the same road from Hyde Park to get here. So when I got the windows, I was like, you know, this is like not that bad. I could do this every day if I had to for work. Um, and then this time, I mean, I was, I left from Montpelier, so I took the interstate, but now, just from going out here twice, I'm starting to like know the area and get the general feel of everything. And so, it's fine. Like, usually, if I go somewhere three times, I don't need a GPS anymore, and I can just go there. And that's all it takes is three times, usually. Um, so, the drive is, like, fine, and there's, like, a lot of traffic. And a lot of people who live out in the woods, um, usually if they have high-paying jobs, they're going to have to either go to Montpelier, which would be Route 100 and then the interstate, or Burlington. Like, if you're a lawyer or something, you're probably, well, no, that's not a good example. Anyway, I'm, my point is, I'm just, I'm good with the drive. Like, I could do this every day if I had to. But our work environment is so chill. There's not, like, you know how I work at a hotel and we get, like, all the checkouts were, like, slammed. We have to get everything done. You can't go home until everything's done uh, because housekeeping can't be responsible for the hotel losing money because the rooms aren't clean. Like, you can't do that. It's not like that at this job. It's like very chill and everything's like there's, it's a military base. Ah, oh, I forgot to tell you. <laughs> the guy told me they would search my car, dude. Okay, and so I knew that and I forgot about it. <laughs> ah, and so that happened. <laughs> and he pulled out a green pouch, this pouch. Okay. He was searching through my bags, like my bag that has extra clothes in it, he opened that and looked through it. He pulled this out, he opens it, he says, was there anything in here? And I said, a bra? And he was like, it smells like something that was recently legalized, but that we're not supposed to have here. And I, he like, it was open. He opened this and smelled it inside, okay? And I was like, Look in here, there's like a lighter, two $2 bills, and some seashells, because this was the bag I took to the beach with me, and I have the seashells in it. Which, why is there seashells and clamshells? I'm gonna show you this, actually. I'm driving through construction, so we're going like 35. And braking, hooray! Love stepping on my brakes. <laughs> Look at this, why is there seashells, clamshells, at a lake? Like, wh why is this here? Anyway, I don't know. Anyway, that happened, and then <laughs> I had a great interview. Everything was, like, chill. I, you know, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if I get a job, but I'm not, I'm not like, concerned about it. It was just a nice time, very casual. They don't even wear their, like, BGS shirt. They just wear whatever they want. <laughs> Obviously, appropriate clothing for work, but... Like, it's super casual. They were, like, saying um, three days a week they have, like, gym training, like, personal training. And you can take your last hour, three days a week of your shift to go work out. Like, that's so cool. And they have, like, lunch things and they, like, go out and everyone's super friendly and everyone's nice. Anyway, when I left, I was just, like, freaking out about this. And I was like, ah! Because you know how, like, crooked people, they be, like, snatching your stuff and then not reporting it? Anyway, just so they could keep it. Yeah, it's still there. So we're good. We're good. I got my cigarette pack. Woo! Very important to me. And I'm like, how? <laughs> I don't know. Praise the most high is his will. Anyway, I, ah!
that's how I feel. I'm, not, I'm just so hyper, I can't even talk, and I should end this video because I'm like sweating without AC. So, yeah, I had a good interview, and now it's 11.30, and we're going to the post office, and how am I not tired? Like, I'm just, it's probably because I'm hyped up, and plus I take naps. Like, <laughs> I don't want to say, I'll never sleep again, I'll just take naps. Cause that sounds actually really horrible um but yeah i'm just like super hyper and i'm in a much better mood and i'm way excited about getting a p.o box um oh let me just talk about that real quick so like my p.o box i have right now p.o box 242 graniteville vermont 05654 that was Spencer's P.O. box. Spencer is my stepdad who died. He killed himself on the day of my 16th birthday party and ruined my entire party. Whatever. It's over. He's dead. So, I, years later, like, I was 16 when this happened. Years later, as an adult with a car who can drive, <coughs> my sister Beth ended up with the house, and so I was always up in Graniteville hanging out there. And it made sense to just get my P.O. box there because I can't use someone else's mailing address for tax reasons. I already have a video about that. I'm not getting into it. So I needed a P.O. box that was in a different place. So I did that. And I just so happened to be assigned Spencer's P.O. box. And that's all I have left. So, and it's my Uncle Steve's too. Um, so I, like, get their mail. They're both dead, and I get their mail sometimes. And so I asked before people in my family if anyone would want the P.O. box, and they don't care, <laughs> which is probably normal. Uh, I'm just weird. So anyway, I'm going to get a new P.O. box in Hyde Park. And then uh, I'll keep you updated on that. But man, my interview was great. And my stuff is still in my purse. Which like, praise the most high man. He was going through it. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> I gotta go.